So it is return home for two of our biggest stars here at the Pittsburgh Steers. Of course, I'm talking about Tua Tagovailoa and Jalen Waddle returning to Miami, Florida for the first time since being traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers, at least in the case of Jalen Waddle, for, of course, Tua Tagovailoa signing with Pittsburgh two off seasons ago. And for the Miami Dolphins, they thought they found their Tua Tagovailoa replacement in Jimmy Garoppolo a couple years ago. Garoppolo played one season with the Dolphins. He is still the backup on this team. And who is he backing up? Well, well, the former North Dakota State Bison, of course, by the name of Trey Lance. So both of the former 49ers quarterbacks are now here in Miami, and it will be Tua versus Lance, but with the Dolphins and the Steelers here tonight from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida. And folks, if you have not yet, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more Madden 23 here on the channel. The Dolphins coming into this game undefeated 2-0 and for the Pittsburgh Steelers, 1-1 with the loss in Week 1 to the Cincinnati Bengals, and then a win in Week 2 against the Baltimore Ravens. The upcoming schedule goes as follows. We got a road game against the Browns in week four. We go to Detroit for week five and then back at home week six at home against the Green Bay Packers. But here comes Trey Lance. So far this year, three touchdowns, no picks, 536 yards for him. He'll get the football from the 25 yard line at Lance dropping back, looking to throw and he will find it. Tyree Kill, still the top threat here in Miami, of course, with Jalen Waddle now playing for the other team. It'll be a second eight from the 41 yard line. Lance looking over the middle. That ball's picked off. Oh, I forgot to mention, we signed Levante David. Yeah, because, I mean, Miles Jack stopped like three more weeks. Levante David was a free agent. He's a 76 overall, and he comes in, and he gets an interception. So welcome to Pittsburgh, Levante David. And we're going to get the football, handing it to Tua Tungavailoa. Six touchdowns, four picks, 630 yards for Tua. Against his former team on a third nine, he'll find Pat Frymuth over the middle for a gain of eight. It will be a fourth and one for Pittsburgh as they will keep the offense on the field. Tua handoff, Najee Harris cuts back, and he'll get just enough for the first down. He'll pick up a gain of two down to the 30-yard line. First and 10 for Tungavailoa out the gun, dropping back. Tua takes a shot downfield. Going for Chris Godwin. Oh, he's got him. One on one ball. Godwin goes up and gets it. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, just like that, go up seven to nothing. Tua uh, to Godwin. Three minutes into this game here in Miami. The Dolphins get it now, and here comes Trey Lance in a play action fake. He'll step up and he'll look to his full back. And that's going to be a first down and more remaining on his feet all the way down to the Pittsburgh 45 yard line. A big play right there for favors. It's a first and 10 for Lance out the gun, looking to his left, dump it off to Tony Pollard. Pollard's got the first down and remains on his feet after breaking a Jamel Dean tackle. He'll get again at 20 down to the 25 yard line. So the Dolphins are moving the football down the field, but now it's a third and 15 from the 30. Lance in the pocket, looking. He'll get it off to Tyree Kill, but Devin Bush, Levante David and company are there. Ball comes out. But they are going to review that play and they will say that Tyree Kill was down. So out comes the field goal unit for Miami. It will be a 38 yarder from the left hash. The kick is up and it is good. The Dolphins have got it on the board. It's a four point game, seven to three for the Steelers. So we'll get the football back from the 27 yard line. First and 10 for Tua rolling to his left. He'll find a wide open Jalen Waddle. Welcome back to Miami Waddle. He'll get down to the 49 over midfield and into Dolphins territory. But here comes the third and six. Tua again, dump it off to Waddle again. And Waddle's got another first down. And again, of seven down it to the Miami 38. But another third down here from the 37. Tua converts yet again as he'll find Chris Godwin on the slant route. Moving it now to the 27 yard line. Another third and 10 for the Steelers as Tua looks to his left and he'll get it to Jalen Waddle. The Steelers keep on converting on third down as we go into the second quarter. Seven to three is our lead here in Miami. So we start the second quarter from the two yard line at second goal for Tua. Drops back, slant route. Got him. Jalen Waddle wide open in the end zone. Touchdown at Steelers. They've got it 14 to three as Waddle now adds to the list of touchdowns on the season. We're up by 11 with the Dolphins getting it back from the 20 yard line. At Lance working up the empty gun, stepping up, taking a shot downfield. No one near that receiver downfield for a big gain of about 60 on the grab. That's T. Higgins. Yeah, the Dolphins got Higgins now alongside Hill. Second and 12 for Lance being flushed outside the pocket. Down he goes. Alex Highsmith gets to him. He's been so good this season. And it's a third and 16 now for Miami. Trey Lance looking. He'll step up. Now looking to run. Lance trying to get the Dolphins into field goal range. He'll slide down at the 36 yard line, making it now a 53 yard field goal from the left hash. It is good. Wow. The Dolphins now make it an eight point game. Back to one score on a second and 15. Tua back with the football. Got Jalen Waddle completely off. 
I, I mean, not even close. Byron Jones with the interception because Tua cannot hit Waddle on a curl route. The Dolphins get it back on a second and two. They will hand the ball off to Tony Pollard. Pollard's got a gain of 12. He's only got four carries for nine yards. He was going backwards in the plays previous, but a third and 12 for Lance. He's dancing in the pocket over the top. Oh, he has his tight end. They're going to say he's out of bounds. I honestly don't know about that call, but we'll take it. The Dolphins are forced to kick their third field goal of the game. It's 14 to nine, but Pittsburgh's got it back on a second and 20 after a holding call. Tua looking to run, and he's gonna fumble. Oh my goodness, Tua is not playing a good football game right now. The Dolphins will get it back again. Agba with the fumble recovery, but yet again, Miami will get it deep into Pittsburgh territory. So a first and 10 for Lance. Play action fake, he's booting left. Now spin his hips and down he goes. Alex Highsmith gets sack number two on the day. He'll drop Lance for a loss of nine, making it a second and 19 for the Dolphins offense. Lance got time, now he doesn't. Oh my goodness, Highsmith gets to him again. He'll fumble, but Miami will recover. So it's a third and 29 after Highsmith's third sack in just two quarters. And now Lance looking, needing 29 yards, or at least trying to get the Dolphins back into field goal range. He's got all day to throw. He'll step up, still looking. He'll step up again, and Lance will slide down at the 38 yard line, making it another long field goal, 55 yards for Miami. And that one is wide left. So the Dolphins were three for three on field goals. Now they're three for four. Pittsburgh still holds with a five point lead. And now Tua back with the football, gonna find Pat Frymuth on somewhat of a Texas route, kind of an angle route, of course, lining up from the tight end position. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29 yard line, out the empty gun, Tua over the middle, slant route. Got Jalen Waddle again. For a gain of 24, Pittsburgh, it will now be a third and goal though from the three, eight seconds to go. Tua on a boot, we've got timeouts, so no need to fear with the time. But anyways, Tua is gonna find NFL a young boy. George Pickens' first grab of the day is a touchdown for the Steelers. 21 to nine is now our score as the Steelers go up by 12 and Tua has found all three of his top receivers in the end zone here tonight. It started with Godwin then to Waddle, and now to NFL young boy George Pickens as the Pittsburgh Steelers go up 21 to nine here on the road in Miami as we go to the third quarter. And really the difference so far is just when the Steelers have been able to punch it in the end zone. I mean, we've had basically the same amount of trips to the red zone as that's a nice ball right there. Tua gonna find Chris Godwin on the corner route, immediately getting us back into Miami territory. To the 31, we head third and one, handoff. Oh my goodness, yeah, Najee's been terrible today. I mean, given it's the O-line, but 11 carries, 11 yards. We gotta go for it on fourth and one. Tua gonna find Chris Godwin, that's why we brought him here. Godwin on those possession catches when we just need a couple yards can come in there, scoop one, get the first down here on a third and seven. We're going to get another first down at George Pickens on that cross route. But yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about, though. We've been able to score when it's mattered. The Dolphins have just been kicking field goals all game long. And oh, my goodness. Tua gets strip sacked to second fumble of the game, his third turnover of the game. And Miami will take over from their own 18 yard line on a 39. Trey Lance has got it out the gun. Hasn't been able to produce much offense so far. Gonna take a shot downfield. Ringo versus Tyreek Hill. And Hill goes up and gets it. I mean, Ringo wasn't beat downfield. And that's usually the case with a Tyreek Hill one on one ball. It's, you know, the quarterback leading him downfield. No, Tyreek just went up and got it. And when you got one of the best man-on-man -man coverage guys in the league on him right there, clearly Ringo's gotta at least bat that ball down or come down with the football. Cause now Miami set up down to the one yard line, third and goal, Tony Pollard's gonna get in. Pollard's into the end zone and the Miami Dolphins have now made this a five point game here in the third quarter. It's third and 10 from the 21 yard line now for Pittsburgh, Tua gonna take a shot to his right, George Pickens, incomplete. Blown up by Xavier Howard. Miami's got the football back. If they score a touchdown here, they'll take the lead, but third and seven, it's a screen going to Pollard and we are there. Oh, what a play by Devin Bush. Bush getting over there in time, forcing a three and out out of Miami. We'll get the football back from the 27 on a first and 10. Tua takes a deep drop back, stepping up, looking. Wow, all right. Gets it to Jalen Waddle some way, somehow. And on one play, the Steelers are back into Dolphins territory to the Miami 48 yard line at first and 10. Can we get the run game going? Of course we can't. So instead we'll throw nobody close to Chris Godwin. Both corners bit on the post route. Godwin's wide open down to the 18 yard line. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Pittsburgh Steelers driving again up by five. Our score, 21, 16. Huge third and four for the Steelers from the 12 yard line. Tonga Bailoa dropping back, looking to his right. He's got Chris Godwin for the first down. Got a linebacker on him. Godwin's gonna make that play every damn day of the week. Pittsburgh's down to the two on a first and goal to a handoff. Najee's been stuffed all day long, but finally he's gonna get in. Najee Harris scores and the Steelers are back up by 12. 
our score 28 to 16 with only seven minutes to go. Third and five for Lance as he throws. Ooh. Devin Bush could have had a pick right there, but instead it will be a fourth and five from the 42. Can Pittsburgh's defense get off the field again? Lance looking for his tight end. Ball is batted out. And that should do it. I mean, seven minutes to go. Anything can happen. We've got it from the 46-yard line. Somehow we've been back to a third and 29, but Tua's got a receiver over the top. Godwin overthrows him. I mean, yeah, that's been Tua's career a little bit. Javon Holland with the interception. Miami does still have life now from their own 41-yard line with 430 left to play. They've worked it in the Steelers' territory to the 46. And that one, oh, it's picked off. Amari Brooks going to get the interception, and that will do it. The Pittsburgh Steelers will beat the Miami Dolphins here on the road. They will get the job done by 12. Your final 28 to 16 as Brooks is going to hit the Frankenstein, I think. I mean, okay, cool. The Steelers are going to win this one, though. They will go on the road, and they will take down the Miami Dolphins, improving their record now to 2-1. And, and as for the Dolphins, again, falling at 2-2-1 two, two and one as well. The entire AFC North came into Week 3 with a 1-1 one one record. We'll see how that develops as we will go to Cleveland next week to take on the Browns. But again, a very solid victory for the Steelers. Gotta limit the turnovers, especially with two. I mean, I think, what, he fumbled twice, he threw two picks. Not ideal, so we gotta work on that. But other than that, the Steelers are playing some really good football. The defense really showed out here tonight, and they've been playing really good ball since, of course, that whatever the hell happened. In that week one game against the Bengals, whatever the hell happened that week, we can forget about, because, again, the defense has been showing up pretty well so far after that. So, folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 66 of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode here on Madden 23. If you haven't yet, though, make sure that subscribe button down below. If you are enjoying the Steelers franchise so far, give them a for watching, and Mamba forever.